Reggie, is, is CJ the one that you always refer to as saying that um, he was supposed to uh, be in the car with Suge when the incident happened at the Tansburger? Well, that's what I have always heard, but we got the man himself here. And so I'll let him go ahead and correct it and, and set the story straight. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't in the car with Shug. I was still incarcerated on my life sentence. Uh, I didn't get out of prison until April of 2015. And Shug incident was in January of... Uh, January 30th, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. Uh, but he, he was in the in the hood at my mom's house. Okay, maybe that's what talking, it, okay. Yeah, he was at my mother's house talking with some of the little homies about, you know what I'm saying, uh, going over there to, you know, take care of his business with, you know, Dre on that issue. And uh, I guess nobody, you know, left with him, so he, he went on his own. You know what I'm saying? I wish I do, wish I would have been there, you know what I'm saying? And I had the opportunity to go over there with him because I feel like maybe uh, those events, you know what I'm saying, would have been different, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, you know, I know Bone personally. I have a rapport with Bone. I, I believe that Bone is a sensible man, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I, I know Bone way back from uh, early days in the blood muscle, you know what I'm saying? So had I would have been on the scene and, and Bone would have seen me or I would have seen Bone and we would have had opportunity to have some dialogue to regard to what was going on with Shug and Drake, then uh, uh, I'm... I'm pretty sure that, you know, it, we, it would have been a, a, a different kind of events. I do, too. And that's the only reason I brought your name up into it, because my opinion was if CJ was sitting in that car or sitting in that passenger seat with you, that he the approach would have been different. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. well, I mean, we wouldn't have never been at, at camps. Definitely, I wouldn't have been, you know... Uh, uh, been led to go over to Tams, you know, to talk about anything. You know, we're not gonna go to talk about nothing over here. You know, what I'm saying at Tams, we can, hell, we can talk about that at Louisburg. At Louisburg, so bullets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can talk about that on Bullets and Rosecrans, and, and then see if they come over to Bullets and Rosecrans and talk about it. You know, what I'm saying, and if they didn't come over to Bullets and Rosecrans and talk about it, then you know, what I'm saying, there's something to uh, pay attention to. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I remember you, uh, when we talked, you had kind of had a conversation about something that I had or some of the conversation that I had with a guy by D-Dog that you were shocked to hear. What was your opinion on that? Right, right. Yeah, I was shocked. I was shocked to hear that, uh, uh, when he said that, uh, the guy that handed the, uh, the toy was the same guy that gave the guy the toy. Yeah. And I was like, well, I didn't know that that individual was there, which is Marvin. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know that he was there. You know, that was surprising to me. You know what I'm saying? But then, too, it wouldn't be that much surprising to me either because he's the same uh, individual that said my neighborhood uh, uh, was Palmino Crips before we was Ma Paul Rose. Now, again, remember, I already said I moved to Compton April 4th, 1968. So I saw every game around the east side of Compton that came up, you know what I'm saying? And what nothing over in, in my neighborhood, what nothing over in my Paru neighborhood, that's my Paru now, prior to then, it was all Ludus Park Paul Roots. So the Palmer Oaks is on the other side of Long Beach Boulevard, so I don't know how the hell where he got that information from saying that my neighborhood or my Paul Roots used to be uh, Palmer Oaks Crips, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know where he's getting that information from, you know, but then too, like, you know, and he calls himself the Ayatollah Marv, you know what I'm saying? So which the proper pronunciation for that is Ayatollah. You know, we say in, in the West, the English people say Ayatollah, but in the Middle East, they say Ayatollah. And Ayatollah means a sign or a verse from God. And so, you know, I don't know what the sign is, you know what I'm saying? If he's saying he's a sign or something that we're supposed to be looking for, too, as far as, you know, him being the oldest power who is, but he say he's the oldest power who, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you're the oldest power who in Compton, how the hell are you going to say that my power who neighborhood used to be Palmino Crips? If you don't, that don't make no sense. So, you, you know, I don't know when you started your power ruin or when he started his power ruin, but that's that's absolutely false. Yeah. You know, and furthermore, you know what I'm saying? All power rules, all power rules are to uh, deal in equity with one another. You 
what I'm saying? We've always done that in, in the city of Boston. All problems dealt with equity with one another. And I didn't understand for him to be at that scene at that time, you know what I'm saying, why he didn't uh, uh, deal with that situation in equity. Meaning, you know what I'm saying, uh, whether it was Suge Knight or any other power, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I respect Bone, you know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing bad to say about Bone. Like I say, uh, uh, I, I feel he's a sensible man. But if, if Marvin Ayatollah Marv, you know what I'm saying, is who he says he is, you know what I'm saying, and he's saying he's from Compton and he's the oldest power in Compton, then this is your city, you know what I'm saying, and you're supposed to have control over your city and that situation that occurred at town shouldn't have never occurred. Yeah. If you was taking, you know what I'm saying, the, the leadership role, you know what I'm saying, that you have the, the, the people around the world uh, believing that you are, you know what I'm saying, and if that was, and if he had done that, then maybe uh, 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 Terry would still be alive. I'm sure Terry would still be alive. Bone wouldn't have got hit by Suge truck, and Suge wouldn't be in prison. Well stated. Um, and like I said, this is D Dog's version, who I got a lot of respect for. Yeah, 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 I understand. I understand. Yeah. Right. I understand. I know, yeah. and, and I understand. D Dog has his version. You know what yes. I'm saying? And D Dog has his sentiments about how he feels about. Which makes sense to me, and I'm not shitting on D Dog because it makes sense to me what D Dog is saying. I'm just playing devil's advocate for Marvin because you know Marvin don't. He's saying it's not true. You know. So right. yeah. Well, I don't, personally, I don't know much about him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, I, I I I had the opportunity to meet his brother on a couple of occasions, uh, Henry, uh, uh, back in the uh, late '80s, uh, with me and China Dog and Gangsta Nate would be rolling around through the city and shit, and China Dog would take us over there to see the block hood, and we'll go over there and hang out with Henry and talk with Henry, and we'll go over there and hang out with Devo and talk with Devo, and uh, we'll be over there talking with uh, Gangsta Mike, Michael Roselle. Or his brother Kerry, you know what I'm saying? We be moving around. That's that's how I got to know of his brother, but I never met Marvin personally. I don't really know anything too much about Marvin except for, you know, what he's been saying over these different platforms and so on and so forth. But for him to say that, you know, and, and I took offense to that, for him to say that, you know what I'm saying? My neighborhood used to be Palmino Crip before we were Ma Pa Rules. You know what I'm saying? I, I I took offense to that. I don't like that. He's wrong for that, and he need he should come out and clear that up. You know, in oh, fairness, oh, you're oh, not the oh, only oh, person. Oh, you're oh, definitely oh, not the only person that I have heard that from about that that statement. Right, right. Yeah. Or he should bring something factual to me. You know what I'm saying? Historically, facts that you know what I'm saying. I'm wrong about you know what I'm saying. Uh, Palmino Crips not being over in my neighborhood prior to us being my father. And let me just say this to defend, you know, I like, like to throw out everybody's side of the coin. I think he mixed, you know, you know, killing court or killing place is one street, and then the next street over is Palm and Oaks or Palm. And I think it's he might. But, yeah. but you don't get, you get, you get Palm, you get Palm and Bradfield before you get the corner. Correct. Palm Correct. is the last street before you get the corner. You know, once you get to Cody, you know, that's Linwood High. That's Linwood. Correct. You know, we're in Linwood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Palm comes all the way across Long Beach Boulevard over into our neighborhood. That's just a street. Correct. That's called Palm. That ain't joke. That's not their hood. That's just a street. Correct. Correct. Hell, Pine Street, uh, Pine Street goes across Long Beach Boulevard as well, right? Yes. All the way to Santa Fe, All right? the way to Santa Fe, yes. And they crypt. Yeah. And they crips over there. They sat down a crypt. Or Palm. Or Oak Street. Oak Street. Oak Park. Oak yeah. Park. Oak Park. Yeah. Park. Yeah. Park. So, yeah, that's Pine Street over there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Respect. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got his geographical locations fucked up. That's all. Yeah, that's what I think happened. Okay.